This video introduces the concept of GHTRS, which is a tool that enables users to create their own API based on GitHub to serve workflow metadata. The GA4GH Cloud Workstream focuses on bringing the algorithms to the data by creating standards for defining, sharing, and executing portable workflows. Examples of the proposed APIs are the Workflow Execution Service API for executing workflows and the Tool Repository Service API for sharing workflows and tools. By adopting these APIs, researchers and research institutions can share various resources such as workflows, data, and computer resources. In this study, we focus on the Tool Registry Service API. The Tool Registry Service API is an API for sharing workflows and tools. Response via the TRS API in QD's workflow documents, including workflow attachments and container images, and test suites. Workflow sharing platforms such as DocStore and BioContainers, that adopt the TRS API have been proposed and developed. These platforms provide a front-end for user management and workflow registration for users who want to share workflows. They also provide a front-end for workflow search and TRS API for users who want to use workflows. These platforms are very useful and will be used in the future. Our motivation for proposing GHTRS is based on that we are developing a workflow execution platform named Sapporo, which adopts GA4GH's Workflow Execution Service API. Sapporo is highly extensible and executes workflows written in various workflow languages such as Snakemake, Nextflow, WDL, and CWL. Therefore, using Sapporo, we conducted a pre-survey in which we asked participants to execute workflows written in various workflow languages that they had never used before. In this pre-survey, even though the participants were given the workflow documents, it was difficult for them to execute the workflow because they did not know the specification of the workflow language or the implementation of the workflow engines. Therefore, we thought that it might be necessary to provide the analysis results of the workflow document via the TRS API. The workflow analysis results here refer to the workflow parameter templates and workflow graphs. To summarize our goals, as mentioned earlier, the first goal is to provide the workflow analysis results via the TRS API. The second goal is to make the TRS API available for hosting on a personal GitHub. Currently, GitHub has the features GitHub Pages and GitHub Actions. By combining these features, we can achieve the requirements of TRS and its platform. This figure shows the architecture of our proposed GHTRS. A user writes a configuration file such as ghtrs.ym and specifies it with the ghtrs command. Then, ghtrs creates a new branch and generates trs API responses and configuration files for GitHub Actions. The generated trs API responses and GitHub Actions configuration files will be hosted on GitHub. GitHub Actions will then analyze and test the workflow. The results of GitHub Actions are again committed to GitHub. This allows users to get information such as workflow parameter templates via the TRS API. This concludes the introduction of the GHTRS concept.